Another viewery video? You damn right! I can't tell the difference anymore. Hi guys, hope everyone's been doing well and stayed healthy. I've been going around Florida making traveling videos for my other channel, Franco's in Florida. And I've also been working out religiously almost every single day to lose the 12 pounds of fat that I have gained since the pandemic started. And I know it doesn't sound like a big drop, but I'm happy to report that I've lost five pounds so far in the last two months. And at this point, there is no turning back for me. I refuse to go buy bigger size pants. I'm just not going there. Nope, 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 nope. So what are we exploring today? We're gonna be diving in into another review of Viore products. We're gonna be covering these two little guys over here, their Hillum Tea shampoo bar, and their very cute bamboo comb. Now, you guys need to know that at the time of this video recording, Viore um, doesn't offer their Hillum Tea bar anymore. They have run out, it was, I guess, a limited edition, but something tells me that they might bring it back on a more permanent basis. Why? Because they do have lots of customers asking for its return. So we shall see what happens. All right, guys, let's waste no time and let's jump right into my review. So Viore's website describes the scent as being a light, calming medley of bamboo foliage and green floral scents. They also said that it's infused with natural essential oils, including the lemon and pine oils. To me, it has a heavier, more intense scent than the other two bars I've tried so far, which are the citrus and the hidden waterfall. And it's not too overpowering and it smells good, don't get me wrong. But I think my favorite one so far and by far is the citrus one because it's comforting, fresh and uplifting. I went through some of the reviews left by the customers and somebody said that it reminds them of summer and sunscreen, fresh mountain air or cucumber mint, and somebody else even said spices. So conclusion, we all have different receptor genes, which may explain why one may smell cucumber mint and the other spices. What you need to know is that regardless of what you smell, that fragrance doesn't linger much in your hair after you get it washed and dried. So if your initial thought was that it's a little bit on the intense side, just don't be afraid to use it. Before we dive into my experience with it, take note that Viori said that this Hirlum tea bar is meant for all hair types. Day two, after using it for the first time, I felt like my hair had this wax-like texture but after doing some more research, I found out that Florida is known to have water with lots of hard minerals, just like uh, calcium and magnesium. And certain ingredients can react with the calcium, forming scum and turning your natural sebum oil into wax. What some people will do is install a water softener filtration system to solve many issues, and hair texture is one of them. After experiencing this wax feel on my hair, I did an apple cider vinegar rinse to take off all that buildup. The ratio is one third the vinegar with two thirds water and let it sit on your hair for a couple of minutes. That did the trick as far as detoxifying my hair. I do this about once a month anyways and it always leaves my hair feeling cleaned afterwards. Keep in mind also that these bars are made with rice water and oil, which have protein and it can cause a buildup after a while. So clarifying your hair once in a while, whether that's with ACV or a clarifying shampoo is highly recommended. Also make sure to rinse your hair really well after applying the Viore shampoo and or conditioner, as that could be one of the reasons why your hair is feeling a little bit crunchy, if that makes sense. After two weeks of use, I can say that overall my hair is still feeling soft and really clean, just like the uh, citrus and waterfall bars did to my hair. You know guys, with time and practice, I realized one thing, that if we're going to choose the rub, to rub the bar directly onto the scalp, we need to take it easy. So for people with longer hair like mine, 
um, this is what I've been doing lately. Um, I've been taking the bar and then rubbing the bottom hair strands like so, just like I did in the part one video. Then I'm gonna use the bottom hair strands to apply the product onto the top of the head. Here we go again. I'm making a mess again. Okay, it's not easy to do this in the bedroom. I'm still getting plenty of soft sud out of this bar and that's no more no less than the other Viore bars. Oh, here comes the mess. If your hair is too short to do that, just rub the bar in between your hands like I showed you in the part 2 video. If you rub the bar too much directly onto the top of your head, that could be one of the reasons why you may be losing more hair than normal. Do you know that people lose between 50 and 100 hair strands every day? And that's considered a normal natural hair cycle? I'm really happy to report that this is a well handcrafted comb. I did not find any splinters on the teeth nor on the rest of the comb. This right over here is a perfect example of a comb that is far from being acceptable. Your hair can catch and can get broken or pulled out with this. The uh, Viore comb is four and a half inches long and two inches wide and its rounded corners make it very comfortable to use. It's a pretty piece of artwork and they even added their logo on it. It's well sanded and I do feel that it was polished which will help preserve it and help uh, protect it from contamination. So overall, I do feel like this is going to be a very durable item. The fact that it's made out of bamboo is really great because the teeth rarely break. Now let's talk about the size of these teeth. This is considered a fine sized tooth comb because it has a closed set of teeth, which is ideal for folks with fine hair or a few tangles here and there. Also, the closed teeth will help you get perfectly straight hair. A white tooth comb has thicker teeth which allow larger amounts of hair through. This is the best option for people with thick, curly, tangled hair. Since most of my tangle happen at the hair tail, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Viore comb to get the top of my hair all straight and neat. Then I will finish up with a wider tooth comb to get all the tangles out. Somebody's thinking. I did search Amazon and I found this highly rated white tooth comb which I think I will order and I'll link it below if you are interested. With that being said, Viori, if you are listening, do you think they're listening? Could you consider adding a white tooth comb to your inventory? Please? Here's a list of reasons why you should consider introducing wooden combs to your hair care routine once in a while. One, they nourish your hair. How so? By distributing your natural hair oils from the scalp all the way down to the entire strand of your hair. This is why your hair appears more shiny and glossy. Two, they encourage hair growth. How so? The massaging action stimulates the follicles which produces more hair strands and increases blood circulation. Three, they don't cause static and freeze and smooth out flyaways because they carry a negative electrical charge. Plastic brushes can cause static since they carry a positive charge and your hair has a negative charge. And what else if anything? It makes the entire hair care routine experience definitely more authentic. How should we care for a Viore comb? Well, first of all, keep it on a dry surface or inside a drawer because we know that over time, water will destroy the health of any wood. Now down the road, and I mean after using it for about half a year or so, 
it would not be a bad idea to rub some coconut oil on the comb and let that oil get absorbed into the wood for about an hour or so. Then wipe it clean with a soft cloth. This will help extend its life. And here you have it, my takes on the heirloom tea bar and the Viore bamboo comb. I do hope that Viore brings back the bar soon and I really hope that my review helps some of you decide whether to give them a try or not. If you found this video helpful, I would really love a thumbs up. This will help me keep going by bringing valuable content to you. And don't forget to click the bell below to be notified when a video comes out. And if you're on Instagram and want to connect, the link to my account is below. Until next time, guys! Affect the wood of any health. The wood of any health? Oh my god. softener with thicker teeth. Thicker, thicker teeth. Thicker, thicker teeth. <laughs> On the heirloom tea bar and the vien. Vien? Viori. It's on the heirloom tea bar and the Viori. <laughs> Here we go again. Part one. Takes me back to part one. Three. Again. Three, not two. Three.